and she's going to start the day off for us today. Thank you, Tara. Welcome to the Women and Girls Foundation's annual Equal Pay Day Rally. My name is Andrew Labens, and I am a member of the Women and Girls Foundation's Regional Change Agents Program. Tuesday, April 12, 2011, is the date in the new calendar year that women have had to work to earn the same amount that their male counterparts earned in, by December 31st, 2010. That's three months longer. Today in Pennsylvania, women on average earn 75 cents for every dollar a man earns. And that's comparing full-time workers to full-time workers. For women of color, the gap is even wider. A chasm as far and as wide as 65 cents to a dollar for African-American women and Latinas working in the Pittsburgh region. This year, the Women and Girls Foundation is supporting equal payday rallies and activities in five different counties throughout the region. Women and men are joining their voices together here today in Market Square in Allegheny County in Washington County at their county courthouse, at Penn State Fayette, and at Seton Hill in Westmoreland County, and at the courthouse in Greensburg. And throughout the region, re regional change agents are holding equal payday bake sales at their local high schools to raise awareness for this cause. The regional change agents from Allegheny County are here today leading this rally and holding their own equal payday bake sale, which is at the table over here. We hope that you will come and buy and purchase a cookie to support the Women and Girls Foundation. And please note that all the items are $1 for men and 75 cents for women to help heighten the awareness of the wage gap. As a sophomore in high school, I have been taught that with a good education, I can reach whatever goals I set for myself. As a student athlete, I am taught that it takes individuals working as a team to produce positive results. As a daughter, I am told that in life, there are so many ups and downs that I need to be self-reliant for both my future and the, possibility, and the possibly my own family's financial security. I am told that I live in a country that allows me, a young woman, to excel in careers that are off limits to women in other countries. What I was not told was that even though I work hard, have the necessary knowledge and skills to perform a particular job, I would not be con compensated at the same pay rate as a man doing the same job as me. I was shocked. I couldn't understand why. I am here today joining voice with these women so that this, right, so this wrong may be righted. I am here to say that I am worth the extra quarter. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Dina Clark, the Executive Director of YWCA of Greater Pittsburgh's Center for Race and Gender Equity, who will share why her organization chose to partner with the Women and Girls Foundation in hosting today's rally. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Dina Clark, and I'm the director for the Center for Race and Gender Equity, and we are thrilled at the YWCA to partner with the Women and Girls Foundation today. I'd like to share a quote from Kofi Annan. Gender equality is more than a goal in itself. It's a precondition for meeting the challenge of reducing poverty, promoting sustainable development, and building good governance. We at the YWCA focus on eliminating racism and empowering women and we strengthen our community by creating and advancing opportunities for all women to seek equality and self-sufficiency. So it was a no-brainer for us to partner with the Women and Girls Foundation on this day. We serve many families, and families can't afford the gender wage gap. We know that women are a critical part of the workforce, and in 2009, starting for the first time, Two-thirds of American families with children now rely on a woman's earnings for a significant portion of the family's income. In addition, during these economic times, which are certainly trying, many more families are reliant to make ends meet, and families are already hit hard by unemployment. In short, a woman's income is critical to the family's financial stability. In addition, women of all races and ethnicities 
bring home less income and fewer, and fewer assets than men of the same ethnic background. But the wage gap is much worse, significantly worse for women of color. When you look at how it accumulates over time, especially in Pennsylvania, the career wage gap over 40 years can sometimes range between $400,000 and $500,000 of income difference. Specifically, for single <coughs> women that were African American, there was a study that was highlighted last year in the Post-Gazette. They looked at um, white women that's an average of $42,000 net worth, and in terms of median income, that same figure was $5 for African American women. And there's a direct link between the rising cost of living and key factors are certainly around the uh, financial stability or instability that we're in in terms of uh, the economy. In simple, because all women earn less on average than men, they must work harder and longer for the same amount of pay and even longer than that if you're a woman of color. Today, to quote President Obama, achieving equal pay for women is vital to strengthening the future of our country. For the sake of our daughters and granddaughters, we must renew our commitment to eliminating the barriers for women that they face in the workforce and give both women and men the opportunity to reach greater heights. Today I join others in wearing red to symbolize how far and underrepresented groups are in the, in the red with their pay. And I would like everyone here to remember that equal pay is not only a women's issue, it's a family issue and a community issue. And that each of us here should today remember that we are all capable, and in my opinion have a responsibility, of individually helping advance the spirit of equality for everybody. Thank you very much, equal pay. Hello, my name is Jorlyn Legarek and I'm a 10th grader at Alderdice High School. I would like to invite everybody to get a cookie at the bake sale right over there. Next up is Candy Castleberry Singleton, Chief, Chief Inclusion and Diversity Officer at UPMC. Thank you. So first, I want to thank Heather for continuing to do this in spite of the rain. <laughs> Second, I want to thank my hairdresser because I'm going to need to see him after the rain. Um, so let me say this. I, I think that um, this conversation is a conversation that's not new. Unfortunately, it's not new. And unfortunately, it's not a conversation that is going to ever go away until we continue to have these kind of conversations in spite of the rain. So although I joke about the rain, I think that in spite of it, we should be here and we should be having this conversation inside and outside of organizations. So I represent UPMC, which is the largest employer in southwestern Pennsylvania. 75% of our workforce is female. And more than half of our workforce, or nearly half of our workforce, of our leadership is female. And so this is a conversation that not only obviously begins here or ends here, but it clearly is a conversation that we have every day for every hire that we have, 75%, for every leadership position that we promote people into leadership positions, 46% of those conversations obviously include this. But my mission at UPMC is to ensure not only that there are people who are treated and women are paid equitably, but also that they're treated equitably once they're in the workplace. Because inclusion is more than just ensuring that when I come to the workplace that I am employed there, but it also is about ensuring that I want to stay here once I get there. And so at UPMC, our mission is to ensure that every, pa uh, every patient and family, as well as every employee, is treated with dignity and respect. And I would suggest to you that dignity and respect also means that I'm paid well. And it means that I know that I'm paid well, and it also means that when I'm thinking about what I do every day, that I don't have to worry about some of the things that clearly uh, Dara, I mean, um, not Dara, uh, clearly that um, Dina pointed out. <laughs> Dina, Dara, you know, if you know anything about the community, they're all operating in the same space. <laughs> so I just want to be brief and say that UPMC is glad to be here. We're glad to partner. And it's critically important, clearly as the largest employer in southwestern Pennsylvania, that this remain a part of our agenda and that it's a part of every conversation for every hire that we bring to our organization. And I'll leave you with these words to think about. I wish, and many of you who have heard me speak before know that I end saying this is the beginning of a new day. And I wish this were the beginning of a new day for equal pay for women. 
But clearly this is a day that is only one of many conversations we will have to have to ensure that it is a true thing. So I would say I wish this were the beginning of a new day where everyone believed and where it was true that women were treated as well as paid equitably in the workplace. So I'll end with these real words. This is the beginning of a new day. We've been given this day to use as we will. We can waste it or use it for good for when tomorrow comes, this time in the rain will be gone forever and in its place will be the conversations that we had today. It will be the things that we are inspired to do when we get back to the workplace and hopefully it will be things that will not allow us to let this just be a conversation that's about a rally and that allows us to go back to things the way that they used to be or that allows us to accept things the way that they are today. I hope that this will only be a little bit of inspiration for us to continue to fight for equal pay for women in the workplace and that this isn't a conversation that will end with just us. Because there's many people who should be here for this conversation in the walls of these buildings, the tall buildings and the short ones who aren't out with us or who aren't out here with us. And they're not out here with us because it's raining. They're out here with us because they don't see this as a topic that needs to be discussed every day. So this is the beginning of a new day. We've been given this day to use as we will. We can waste it or use it for good when tomorrow comes. This day will be gone forever and hopefully in its place will be something that inspired someone else to support the cause for equality and equal pay for women. Thank you.